Okay, so this video is on use substitution. Uh, it's a pretty important uh, topic in AP Calculus. It is basically the reverse chain rule. So if we just remember the chain rule and we try to do that backwards, it will go a long way. So um, here we are. We're talking about a function, right, that we want to anti-derive, integrate. Um, and if we take little f, okay, and we anti-derive it, so just so you know, little f, right, and we derive it, we get f prime, right? But if we take little f and we anti-derive it, that we're going to write as big F, okay? And in other words, if we, what that means is, for this, this is just notation. If we take big F, right, and we derive that, we'll get big F prime, or we'll just call that little f. So these are the same, okay? Big F prime or little f. So if we take this and we anti-derive the outside function, you can see the outside function is just f of whatever. It could be like a square root on the outside. It could be like a squared on the outside. It could be like a cosine on the outside. Um, you're going to anti-derive that. Cosine, for example, would become sine, right? But there's something going on here where you need to see a chain rule, a chain rule that already happened, I guess, and um, reverse that. So you take the um, derivative of big F, you get little f, you leave this alone, and then you chain rule this right here. So the important part is you're chain ruling this to get that, right? Um, so that's the kind of the general idea. So you can kind of see there's gonna be an inside function and its derivative. There's gonna be an outside function. Finding out which one's which is gonna be hard, um, but we can do it. And in general, we're gonna call this right here, this outside function and the inside function inside of it, we're going to call that u and call it a u substitution. It could be anything, a t substitution, doesn't really matter. But we're changing the variable to, to something different to like kind of solve it out and then hopefully that'll make it a little easier later. Um, if I just remind you what this kind of might remind you of, do you ever remember solving something like this, like cosine of 2x um, or even make it 3x? is equal to, let's say, root 2 over 2. Now, this is a pre-calc thing that you might have tried to do. Well, what you were kind of taught to do was, was to take this and think of it as u. So in other words, cosine of u is equal to root 2 over 2. And we obviously do that on interval, but we say that, okay, well, u must have been a couple of different things. What could what could u be if it's 1 over root 2, right? So I get this triangle here, or I guess I'll draw it in my first quadrant, sorry. So u must have been what? So if we talk about this, right, um, 1, 1, root 2, then we know that u, the theta, sorry, this is a terrible theta, um, the u must have been, well, cosine of pi over 4, right? So u must have been pi over 4. And let's not go for other solutions right now. So if that's the case, right, if u was pi over 4, now we go back to this right here, this 3x. So then 3x was equal to pi over 4. And that means that x was equal to pi over 12. This is a review from pre-calc. We're not doing this exact idea, but... The idea that we're going to be going with is we're going to change variables. We're going to get rid of x's and replace them with u's, solve it all out with u's, and then change back to x's. This concept is going to be pretty important. So get rid of the x's to make it easier, then change back um, to x's at the end so we have our proper solution. Okay, so what am I talking about? It looks really stressful in this notation and maybe even more stressful here. But what the, what the idea is, it's vital to see a function and its derivative. So I'm going to underline, or you can underline, a function and its derivative. That's pretty important. To have the option of u substitution, we just call it u substitution. That's why I put quotes. It could be t substitution, anything like that, okay? So this video, we'll kind of cover that. We'll just call it 4.5. Um, and maybe we'll um, give it a letter later, but 